Why be seeing the place to be? So the city, what's up? We got Clutch 18. And we're gonna cut. It is not due until the 26th. And today is the 20... 22nd. So that's like four days early. We're going out of town on Monday. So tomorrow I really don't have time to do it. And uh, it's gonna do what it's gonna do. It's gonna be all right. So the mom. Here's mama. She's an albino. They call them cheetahs. Cheetah is a uh, trick and pinstripe. So trick is uh, similar to hurricane. I put a, a toffee hypo to her. Uh, so she has many baby all the babies that look like albinos. That means they're all toffinos. So that's how I know that would be the daddy. And then I also have put um, a pastel leopard head albino. Now that particular parent I did last year and uh, it was her first year laying and she wasn't eating well during that process and she slugged out. And one of the babies survived, but always survived temporarily. She third uh, baby daddy, it wasn't all in that order, but the third baby daddy was uh, is, is a pastel GHI butter vanilla hypo. So if all of them come out like looking like, you know, nothing albino, then I know the hypo got her. So they'll all be like double heads. If they're all like albino looking, then I know the toffee got her. And if it's a mix, then I know the um, the head albino got it. Got it? <laughs> so the trick is, I'm going to tell you the secret that I pay a lot of money for. The trick is when you're doing different baby daddies, is that you don't put the same genes to that female because then you won't know which one is the dad. So that that is the trick. Get it? Feel free to donate any money to me <laughs> for my tips. Just kidding. All right, here we go. Heavenly Father, Lord, you are in charge. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory for your only begotten Son, Jesus, who died for all of our sins. And I just say thank you for this life. And and how you uh, supply all of our my needs according to your riches and glory. So I put you first in my life, so all these things shall be added. And I just thank you for this increase of life. Clutch, Clutch 18. 18. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So we go through this. So I moved the incubator. I mean, the, the couple eggs that are left to a smaller incubator because the bill is very high all right here we go i don't know what one i want to hatch i really don't i don't know if i want them all toffinos or what i feel a snake so we know we we're doing we're doing good regardless here we go Going to Florida. There's a lot of breeders in Florida. I should go visit some. And it's a albino-like one. All right, we on the albino so far. I like seeing that. That's all I could tell right now. Alrighty. Oop. Do we? I like albino. So I am trying to do this toffee project. 
we got a lot of projects, so I don't really know. We'll see what happens. Started getting into genetic stripe. Um, that kind of started kind of like happening. Kind of see where it goes. Um, genetic stripe. I know everyone's doing that kiki genetic stripe clown. But I'm trying to uh, do triple recessive. Genetic stripe. Hypo and enhancer. It's another one. Uh oh. Looks like so far it might is toffee in the lead. So that's kind of cool because. If it is all Toffinos, once these guys, girls come out, um, I'd be able to get some trick and some pinstripe into the project. So that's kind of good. Because right now it's just a Toffee hypo. That's like the name of the game, trying to get all these Hold on, jeans in there. Try to uh, diversify your portfolio. So I know I put the toffee with her more than everyone else in the beginning. Here goes another one. So that's three and three. And then and then I try to put the uh that pastel GHI butter vanilla hypo for future breedings. And um that for sure didn't hit. So we know the hypo didn't get her. So I say if we get another one, then it's going to be Toffinos. <laughs> Head hypos. What do you think, babe? Yes. You think it's going to be Toffinos? Yep. For the win? That's another one, Toffino for the win. So don't, <laughs> I would like to try to explain the whole toffee candy albino thing, but it's, I know it, I just don't really know how to di regurgitate it all. So I can't really tell like what they are just yet. I just know that they're snakes and they're Toffinos. I don't think we'll be able to tell until like they totally come out and they have their first shed because of the uh, the color. But what I do know, if you breed toffee a purebred toffee to a purebred albino all the babies are toffinos i know that and if you breed a toffino to an albino i think 25 percent of the babies will come out toffee 25 percent will be like I want to say like, you know, normal looking double head, toffee albino. And then some like 50% would be albinos. So it looks like the toffee, toffee one. So we'll take him out so you guys can see him. I hope I get some tricks up in here for reals though. 
That would be super tight. This one looks like it started drying out. I like that. Like that? Yes. That makes up because uh, I had that one breeding. I bred my albino albino het clown to uh, pastel enchi het toffee and that clutch like burned and I only got like one toffino so this definitely makes up. Alright so this is dad. So he's a toffee hypo. So the hypo is kind of hard to see especially on camera but it has a, like a little frost to it but toffee has like that nice deep purples in here and then uh just a nice uh cream vanilla looking light orange right here he's he's uh so i got it from carlos from sunstoner reptiles in canada and um I'm ha he went off of food because he went like crazy into breeding mode when I put him to her. So he he's just now getting back on food. It's been like two months, right? So uh, it's good to see some babies out of him. And Carlos actually owes me a couple babies because he bred him to uh, albino genetic stripe female. And that's how I got it to genetic stripe. I bought this genetic stripe from him and then all of a sudden I needed to get more genetic stripes for the project. So uh, that just took me <laughs> on the turn I didn't need to go. But anyhow, I'm, I'm turning. So he had got stuck with the female and he said, well, let's breed them. And I said, go ahead. And the babies ended up dropping over there because that whole, you know, the shipping guy Sun caught Corona and then all shipping got closed for like six months and so the baby ended up hatching over there So I don't even know how I'm gonna get those babies back over here, but he's here and I got some Tofinos So that's how we do it Hope you liked the video comment share and subscribe much appreciated and God bless you <laughs> I'm gonna grab that and put it on you.